Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement on this spring day where the plan had been do errands. My God, car maintenance is expensive. Errands, errands, errands. And then watch all those things and then all the things again. But um, I came home after all the errands and I fell asleep in my lunch. But I'm here, I'm here, because it is the season one finale of Lucifer and we have left off on a trope that for some reason I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Our protagonist being framed for murder. Why? I think why it upsets me so much is because I feel helpless and I hate feeling helpless. And I always feel what my characters that I'm watching and enjoying are feeling. That's why I want them to act and behave as I would act and behave, even though we're different people and had different lives and different experiences and different trains of thoughts. I want them to do what I do. So when they are framed for murder, I am framed for murder and I'm now upset. <laughs> now this episode is called Take Me Back to Hell. So I have a feeling somehow, some way, Lucifer gets out of this by saying just take me to hell. And then he's not there to be prosecuted. Maybe. Okay. So I'm ready to begin mostly, but there's one thing I need to address. And I think it's funny that I need to address it. I got things in my eyeballs. I got things in my eyeballs. Right. Okay. Rosie apartment secret room. Okay. I heard Chloe say, we're going to go to Rosie's home. And then the next scene we see is Lucifer, Chloe, dad in an apart, in a room, a living room area that looks very well established with older furniture like it had been there for a while. So my head is Rosie lived with dad. So even they said Rosie's place, Rosie's place was essentially dad's place. She's 19 years old. What 19 year old do you know that can afford that style of an apartment with that much stuff in it in Southern California? Cause they didn't say where she lived with Corazon. They didn't know where Corazon lived. That's why they had to get Onyx to print out the thing. So they didn't, who was she living with? Cause she, was she living alone? How did they get into her apartment? Cause even if she gave dad a key, it sounded as if they weren't very close. So why would she give him a key? How did they get inside said apartment? And what sort of landlord has an apartment with a secret room that's that big up top that they'll kind of allow, that it already looked like it had been dingy and dungy and dusty for a long, long time. So that's why I thought it was the dad's house. And the funny thing was, is it had jack shit to do with anything. And I spent way too much time thinking about it. <laughs> but that's what happens when you tell a story. You never know when some little off the cuff thing is going to pull your viewer or your reader out of the scene altogether where they miss what you want to say, but they're too busy concentrating on the other things. So that's why I always say when you're writing something, you don't have to be right. You just can't be wrong. But whatever it is, insert whatever. As long as you're right enough, people will flow with it. But as soon as you do something that's obviously wrong, no matter how tiny or insignificant it is, you're gonna pull somebody out of the story. That's what I wanted to say, okay. <sighs> oh, and those of you who said that Amenadel rents a hotel room, what hotel? What hotel is he renting that looks like that? Okay, okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. I got, I've been drinking um, ginger whiskeys. I hope you have your favorite beverage as well because this show episode seems like it's gonna be a humdinger. So thank you so much for being with you, with me. Also, Confetti, confetti, thanks for helping me reach 10,000 subscribers. I now officially have a kid channel. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to count it as a milestone. And that's hugely, hugely in part to all of you and all of your Lucifer fans. Thank you so much for helping me with this channel. I love having you here. Okay, now, now we can get to it. Oh, they're still there. Come on. Oh, we're picking right up where we left off. It doesn't matter what I believe. That's all that matters, Detective. Oh yeah, you lost faith in him. <laughs> this isn't funny, Lucifer. <laughs> isn't it? I think this is the grandest joke that I've heard in all my time. Mr. Twitchy McGee's gonna shoot him. 
You're just like all the others. Sorry. Well, he's hurt. Don't take another step. Yeah. Newbie. Mm hmm. Riddle me with bullets so you can go home, drink a nice cold beer, and feel better about yourself. Maybe I have a gun. That's in the air. Do it. Ah! Mm -hmm. <gasps> Where'd he go? Did he just, did he go back to hell that quick? Did he go back to hell that quick? Search the area. He can't have gotten far. Oh, I think he's a little further than you think he is. <laughs> Amenadil got him? Can we not tell anyone you just carried me in your arms like a baby? Amenadil got him. Why'd you swoop in and stop it? Wouldn't let someone else send me to hell, is that it? Well, guess what, brother? You don't need to kill me because I'm done here. Oh, I thought he was going to say, I'm already in hell. Take me back to hell. No. You didn't hear? What happened to him? He disappeared. He's on the run. Ow! <gasps> Can you see that? Oh, it's a demon knife. I'll take you to the station. Are you gonna use that on Lucifer? Pretend you don't know Lucifer. I already like it. Our suspect is a club owner who likes to tell people he's the devil. Lives by his passion. That is a frame job. Who would want to set him up? Detective. We may have found the murder weapon. Okay. Test Ooh, does Dan recognize that gun? I think Dan recognizes the gun. Chloe, we have to talk. I'm somewhere else. Maze was right, Lucy used her and Malcolm people have died because of us because of you you mean yes because of me right whether somehow I lost sight of the bigger picture does that mean the the fake reverend preacher dude is gonna go to heaven because he was caught in this crossfire or does his other sins send him back down to hell? I need to find Malcolm and I need to send him back to hell will you help me brother <sighs> One last bit of punishment on the way out. It sounds like fun to me. Lifts up. What is that? Sir? Oh, so Dr. Keenan is still in session? The sacrifices you made pretending to be a therapist. Yeah, I like that scent. <laughs> it looks like patchouli. It looks like it would be patchouli or a uh, sandalwood. So how's this? Step one, travel back in time and not make such a mess of things. Well, can they do that? Can they do that? Lucy, what is your problem? Oh, good question, Doctor. Well, you see, the thing is that my brother's been trying to kill me and now he wants to work with me, but we can't seem to get along, mainly because he's an egotistical twit. Hello? <gasps> I didn't realize that you were in session with a Lucifer? Actually, you may be just what we need, my dear Doctor. They're gonna have her help them commit something. Oh, 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 I don't even know you. You mm -hmm. shot a man in cold blood. Everything I saw at Palmetto, it was all true. And you gaslit you her. I was crazy. Yep. You let me think I was Too bad. crazy. Sorry. You didn't do your part to at least stop it. You can't take it back. Can't take it back. But you can make this right. I still can't take it back. So you're, you're brothers. Listen, I know this must be a shock. Are you even a real doctor? <laughs> <laughs> of course he isn't. Lucy, you're arrogant. You're selfish. Oh. All you do is think with your penis. Oh, which of course you would never do, would you? How's Maze, by the way? Enough! <laughs> do you realize the ethical position you put me in? Mm -hmm. And you. Let me guess. You were going to make a sexual joke about putting me in a position. That's true. Yet every time I think you come upon a moment of realization, you go the exact wrong direction with it. You did, hold, hold on, you're right. I did come to LA to start a new life, didn't I? And now Malcolm's on the run. He's gonna need to start a new life too. No, see, you're doing it again. No, I <laughs> I'm not just the person to go to. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Linda. Damn, you're good. Yep. <laughs> he must be paying her a lot for her to keep seeing him as a client and or she finds him really intriguing more so than her other clients. Lucifer. Oh, you went to Maze. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. You went to Maze. You've never liked me. Who gave that away? I don't think he killed the preacher. I need you to help me find him before another cop does. These days, it seems you know him better than I do. So where do you think he's going? 
You can't come with me. Watch her. I don't see anybody else backing you up. And you've seen what Mace can do. Byron was a nice guy. Is this the only, the only guy, the only guy in town that provides fake, no, fake the goes IDs? Adam, think of Byron. Oh, BLT. Yeah, sorry to interrupt the riveting eulogy, but I'm here to see the funeral director. Hello, Neil. This is disrespectful. Uh, no, this is disrespectful. I mean, this whole show, who's it for, really? He's not hearing any of this. Do you back me up, please, bro? He is right. <laughs> Mr. Morningstar, this way. Oh, you do remember me. Feel free to carry on. Well, maybe somebody here, though, actually cared about him. Your main source of income is creating new identities, which is why I came to you five years ago to get my proper papers and all that. Oh, and I did great work for you, Mr. Morningstar. So yes, you did. Why are you doing this? Well, if I know you're the best, then Malcolm Graham does as well. The cop. Mm-hmm. Said he needed time to get his hands on the 100K. Where would a homicide detective get that kind of money quickly? Yeah. He mentioned an old associate. Oh, the robbery palmetto thing! Palmetto! I think I might know just the person who can help us. Dan! Rhymes with douche. <laughs> LAPD Malcolm. <gasps> Where's Mrs. Malcolm? Hello? Anyone here? You cops must make a lot of money. Well, I think that's all stolen goods. Well, if you don't make good money, why do you do this job? Because I hate when people get away with things they shouldn't. And you like to shoot people. Yeah. And to think I almost killed you in your sleep that one time. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, jeez! I think that's Mrs. Graham. Malcolm, it's the police. He's not with you. Oh, it's Mrs. Graham. Sorry, I thought you were my husband. The one that she was so distraught. He's been different. He's been strange. I can't describe it. He has a newfound appetite, an insatiable hunger he just can't seem to fill. It can't get worse. He spent all our money. He said he was gonna go get a beer. Uh -huh. Mel said he went out for a beer. Does that make any sense to you? No, when I saw him, he was scared. I think he knows Lucifer's gonna come after him. Yeah, well, he doesn't have the money to get far. Yet. Oh, maybe there's a bar that owes him money. Or one that he could rob for some extra cash. Well, he's gonna go get a beer. <laughs> what part of you... What is that little pea shooter? And this is the last place you'd look, isn't it? I thought it was quite clever. Oh. So now we've been told that he's seeing an associate named Tommy. There are a lot of Tommies in. A beer, of course. It's too bad. I'm not telling you. Uh -huh, but you want to, though, don't you? No, I don't. Oh, you're a complicated one. That is a surprise. Mm-hmm. So come on, what do you want to do, Daniel? I want to redeem myself. Mm -hmm. Oh. Come on, you can tell us. Like you said, we're surrounded by police. There's an old brewery on 3rd. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Not that complicated after all. So you two will stay in a holding cell a lot. <laughs> well, look at that sky. <sighs> and now I'm ready to get the old band back together. You have some product you can move? Well, you did until your wife shot it up. How much you thinking? How much you got? Oh! <laughs> Same me. Ah! Uh, indirectly! He sends both of them? He sends both of them. But hey gift horse and all that, am I right? They didn't check him for weapons before they allowed him in. Oh, hello there. You two made a huge mistake walking in here. Hmm. What do you say we skipped the time slowing shenanigans? What about your mortality situation? Well, it's kind of a non-sitch when the detective's not around. I'll explain later. But she's on her way! Enjoy the moment. After you. Lovely. Right, I should warn you. Finally. Finally.
bro. Genuine mistake. Uh huh. <laughs> So if they can't kill Malcolm, how do they send him back to hell? And he's got the coin. So there's a few obstacles in their way that are really good obstacles. Oh, Jesus. Now this is when Lucifer becomes vulnerable. <gasps> I could tell it was something special, but I had no idea that was going to work. <laughs> Part of no hogging, don't you understand? <clears throat> Only Lucifer gets to hurt um, his brother. Bloody hell, there you go, spoiling my fun again. Say, it's, it's just a flesh wound. It's just a flesh wound. What happened? He was struck with a blade, not of this world, mate. I'll handle this. Fine. Now, the question you should be asking, Lucifer, is how are you here and why? Malcolm, freeze! Stop! <laughs> wow. Chloe, your shot's, uh... Now you gotta reload. But he's here to get money, and then he's gonna disappear. You mean this money? I know you're innocent. I, I always have. I just did not convey it. In a good way. <laughs> we found the evidence we need. He did. Can I rethink my surrender? <laughs> it's, it's better if I show you. We took a turn. We took a turn. I made my peace with death. Whether I go to heaven or hell. Hello. You're staying right here. Now shut up and let me help you. Does she have powers when it comes to? Her weapons causing damage on... It would take something divine to heal me. She divine... <gasps> the feather! I thought I could use it to get us back home. And you'd give that to me? Doesn't he have his own feathers? Or should it be somebody else's feathers? Ooh. Dan says he has it handled. You do, right? I do. I'm ready to turn myself in. What are you doing? I removed a firearm from evidence lockup and I gave it to Detective Malcolm Graham. I believe Detective Graham then used that weapon to shoot and kill Jacob Williams. The crime that Mr. Morningstar is suspected of. Oh, he's gone and clean. Detective Espinosa didn't know you had the stones. And the more Detective Douche? Oh, no. Well, not today at least. Where's Trixie? Hey, honey. Everything okay? Hello, Decker. I still have a few buddies at the stations. Oh, and I made a new friend today, too. Pulled her out of a boring class for some bonding time. They let her out of class. Hey, Mommy. How dare you! Maze will get on this. Just you, or she dies. She said nothing. It's nothing about Maze. Oh, who can she trust? Who can't she trust? That is a great jacket. What? Who is this? Who is this? Let her go. Right. Might let her go, but he's gonna kill Chloe. 
He needs this money to leave town. I won't give it to him until she's safe. And what about your safety? Trixie is all that matters. To take I don't have time to argue with you, Lucifer. Yes, Lucifer, her child means the most. Promise me you'll let me go alone. You have my word. So what skills can he utilize? You look so sad. Mommy's coming to pick you up. Good. I'll write you. Now, toss the gun. Now the other one. I have a friend who was former um, California patrol and narcotics and whatnot. She had like 15 weapons hidden on her. game all right hide and seek i need you to hide until i can come find you it's there it's it's all there it's in the bag i believe you so i'm gonna kill you anyway i was gonna shoot you at palmetto and now i feel like i've been given a second chance here so I'm... who is that <gasps> is this really what you did with your second chance mm-hmm Long time no frame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'll ask you a question. What is it that you want? What do you desire, Malcolm? You want to live, don't you? I do. More than I must do. Almost. <laughs> now, does a mortal wound means can't heal it with a feather? Feather! Now, if Chloe runs away, can Lucifer heal? The ghost of what I did, because we both know where you are going to. But it's not going to be the same experience, Malcolm. Or if you can even hear me, but if you're up there, <laughs> I need a favor. It's the favor for Chloe. I'll do as you ask in exchange. So you protect Chloe. See why he would want to be in the sun. <laughs> it's open. Well, it's open. No, this is impossible. Jeez, Chloe! <laughs> Chloe. Oh, see Lucifer did and shoot him! I've got you, Clyde. Do you? I'll be back. Will he? Does the coin only work for you Lucifer? Let me do this. I know a guy. <gasps> Apparently he wants me back here. You wasted your chance. Mm-hmm. So wasted it. Mommy, is it over? Yeah, baby, it's over. Here. Don't look at the dead man, sweetie. You promised you'd let me go alone. True. And he kind of did. Uh, didn't say anything about following. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? My father cares. Isn't it past her bedtime? In a way. Oh yeah, the bar. The bar! The bar. We toast to the bar. I spoke to Dad. Excuse me? And what does Father want? Someone's escaped from hell. Oh. Must have seen a window of opportunity whilst you were incapacitated. I think he wants me to bring our jailbird back. Oh. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to track down a single errant soul. What's this? Who's the soul? Who's the soul? You're afraid. Who could possibly scare you, brother? Another brother? Sister? Who escaped hell? Mom. Mom, that was my next guess! Mom. So in this 
version of hell is Mom Lilith. So Mom was my next guess. Because I was just wondering when, was, when I was thinking like, who could possibly escape that made him go, oh, who is Mom? In a sense. So I'm glad this episode went the way it did. We didn't have like Lucifer on a long escape or a funky trial or whatever. Menadel coming in was not on my radar and I love that. Maze and Chloe working together. Trixie though, oh, as soon as that phone rang, I'm like, fuck Malcolm, where's Trixie? The school just let her go, what? Oh, so Dan's in jail now? For how long? For how long? Does he lose his job forever? Do I care? Maybe a little bit, but uh, yeah, that type of secrecy and whatnot. One, okay, here's the thing, y'all. Secrets never stay secret forever. Eventually, may not be today, may not be next week, may not even be next year, but eventually every secret comes out. I love finding your roots. If you ever seen that show, PBS, Amaze Balls, secrets from two, 300 years ago revealed. Now do all the people who it would matter to, are they still around? No, but secrets rarely stay hidden. That was not something Dan could ever keep from Chloe forever. That would have tainted his soul and his actions forever. So yeah, I don't think there's any, if she went back to him, because it wasn't the fact that he shot Malcolm to save her life. For me, if I was Chloe, it was the fact that he gaslit her and he allowed the rest of the precinct to be total shits to her. Because that affected her mentally, professionally. No, that, that is the part that is inexcusable. But I'm also glad that, okay, Lucer made a sacrifice for somebody else, which I'm gonna guess is the first time he done it, even though him and Maze are close. That's the first time he made a sacrifice. So father saw that, rewarded it, but then also used it as an excuse to help have a son help him with another issue, which is mother. And why was mother in hell in a, in a cage prison of some sort that had chains? So we got our next season. Will it be the whole season or just some of the season? We shall see. Woohoo. So there we go, guys. Season one of Lucifer. Done. That went slow. Okay, it went quickly, but yet slowly. But this show cooks and I love it and enjoy it. What now I need is for a few more people to catch on that Lucifer is Lucifer. I was hoping this was the episode where Dr. Linda went, oh no, he's Lucifer, but it's not. But I cannot wait for that to happen. And then where do we go from, okay, here's the bad thing though about it. Where do you go from there? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm excited for season two and I want all of you there with me in the future. I'm gonna go lie down for a little bit and get some warm toastiness and maybe some water. So you go get your water. Go eat something substantial, get your protein, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.